Looking for some info on a free VPN or Proton specifically? I'm going to do this video in two parts. First, I'm going to go over some of the info about Proton and why I chose it for myself. And second, I'm going to talk about how to install it 100% free on your computer. Starting with the biggest feature for me was the unlimited data. That means that I could download large files if I needed. And there's no peer-to-peer -peer support with the free plan, but at $4 a month, I could always upgrade it if I needed to for a month or so. Second was the speed. The free connection is labeled as a medium speed. However, running a speed test on a Netherlands server, you can see that I'm running at my maximum 100 megabits down and 10 megabits upload. If you're looking to access geoblocked streaming, unfortunately, that's part of the $8 a month plan, so you might want to look elsewhere for something cheaper like NordVPN. Lastly, ease of use. The app makes it very easy to turn on and off the VPN connection and works well both on Android and PC, so I'm covered on my two main browsing devices. There are apps for Mac and iOS, however, I don't own any Apple products, so I can't test those for you. Split tunneling is a major included convenience and allows you to exclude certain programs from the VPN when it's active. Proton also provides open VPN configuration files. However, without the premium content, this seems a little excessive and I might only ever use it on a router anyways. The free plan only allows one connection at a time, so I expect people to probably make more than one account for their devices. To summarize, we have a few downfalls. The lack of geo-blocked and peer-to-peer -peer access is a bit disappointing, but this is a free VPN. So the unlimited data, the good speeds, and the ease of use on the app make this better than most of the other free VPNs I've looked into. If you've decided to also use Proton, then we're gonna continue on to the setup. Go to the website, I'll have the link in the description. Click the big button up front. You'll see all the available plans, but I'm going with the free plan. You'll have to create an account and verify your email before being taken to the download page. Get the appropriate app for your computer. I'm on Windows and go through the install. I've already been through this, so I'm already logged in and through my free trial. When you log in, you'll have a week with the upgraded server access before they drop you down. When you're looking at the countries, you can hover over the symbols to read more about them. The bag is Tor Networks and the arrows are peer-to-peer. -peer. When you drop down a country, you can choose the server you'd like, but all the free servers are in Netherlands, Japan, and America. You can minimize the map and we're going to take a look at a few of the key settings. Click the burger and choose settings. You can decide if you'd like it to start when Windows starts or not and if you want Proton to auto connect. Looking at our advanced tab is where my favorite feature is. Split tunneling allows you to decide if you want any programs excluded or if you only want a few included. I usually set it to my main browser only and turn the VPN on and off as needed so it never affects my gaming. There it is, everything I can inform you on my choice of free VPN Proton. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to put them. My next video is likely to be a Premiere Pro transition for in and out of the screen like I've been doing, or the $40 Asus Tough H3 headset review as uh, our budget hero headset. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all later.